Styling his way into fighting games from the hack and slash universe, Dante is here to help you win with style in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Dante is an extremely technical character with the most amount of special moves in Marvel vs. Capcom history. Simply remembering them all is a challenge in and of itself. He can do extremely high damage with his combos, but due to their multi-hitting nature, he has heavy damage scaling forced onto him. Dante also has a special move for every occasion. On the ground, in the air, from up close and from afar, you'll never be out of options when it comes to pulling off a special move. He also has a technique called a bold cancel, which allows him to cancel special moves together with his command jump. But this is an advanced technique, so I'll explain it later on in the video when it becomes relevant. Some of Dante's pros include that he has a plethora of special moves, good options on both the ground or in the air, he can power up with Devil Trigger to do more damage, recover life, and gain access to three more special moves, and he does a crap ton of damage with his million dollar super. It's fantastic as a combo ender or as a DHC option. Some of Dante's cons include that he has a high execution barrier, so new players will struggle with him. His damage scaling is quite high, some of his specials are slow which can get you punished if spaced incorrectly, and Dante himself is a bit slow, as his wave dash and overall movement isn't quite as fast as other characters. And finally, not all of his special moves have use in an actual match. Some of them are only used in very specific instances, and even then you might not be even in those situations in a real match. Out of Dante's three assists, you always want to pick Jam Session, as it covers the vertical space and can be used to keep opponents off you who are in the air or on the ground. I use this assist with Wolverine to allow me to start combos after an instant overhead, so if one of the characters on your team has an instant overhead, check this assist out. His other assists, Crystal and Weasel Shot, aren't very useful in the neutral, as they can only be used to great effect in specific instances, whereas Jam Session will work way more often. Standing Light is a decent standing attack that is mainly used to start combos. Standing Medium is another average standing attack. Use this after Standing Light to start a combo. Standing Heavy does good damage, but it has poor recovery, so be careful not to whiff this in the neutral. Crouching Light is a low gunshot that is great for starting combos, especially after a cross-up or mix-up. It can be chained into itself. Crouching Medium is a low sword attack that is somewhat slow, so use this in combos, not by itself. Crouching Heavy is a forward strike that can be bottom matched for extra hits. Because of the multi-hitting nature of this move, the damage scaling is insane, so I wouldn't recommend this move unless you're desperate for an easy hit confirm into super right as your opponent is about to go down. Dante's launcher acts the same as every other launcher, but it has horrible recovery, so if it misses, you're going to get punished. Dante's Jumping Light is a standard air move. As a Dante player, I never use this move, so don't expect to be using it that often. Like with other jumping normals, this and the next three moves are overheads. Jumping Medium is like the previous move, except this one actually has practical use in air combos. It can be also used as a cross-up. Jumping Heavy is a great move. What might seem like a normal air move with subpar frame data is one of Dante's deadliest cross-ups. If your opponent is crouching, or if they don't expect you to cross them up, jump and then air dash over them and then do jumping heavy in the air for an easy cross-up. You'll be able to start a combo this way. Dante's air launcher brings him to the ground in a straight vertical line. However, this move has noticeable startup that Dante can be grabbed out of, so be careful using this when close to your opponent. Performed with forward and heavy, Dante will do his iconic stinger move, moving forward to strike the enemy. This move is great and all, but the long recovery will get you punished if it doesn't hit. However, remember that bold cancel thing I mentioned before? Keep that in mind, because doing a bold cancel after Stinger is Dante's most important tool. We'll get to it soon, don't worry. Performed by mashing heavy when on the ground, Dante will shoot forward a bunch of times with his guns. You can cancel this move into Stinger if you wish, 
However, you'll barely use this move as most characters can just jump, fly, or teleport to avoid it. If your launcher is blocked, or if it even hits the opponent, mash heavy to start shooting upwards. This move is called Clay Pigeon and is used in advanced combos, so don't worry about this move for now if you're just starting out. But do remember it as it is a good move for hitting opponents after launching them. During Scatshot and some other command normals, which we'll get to in a bit, if you push the launcher button, you'll get this cool sword spin move called Prop Shredder. If it connects with the opponent, they'll get launched, so you can follow up with a combo. If you mash heavy during Stinger, you'll get Million Stab. This move is rarely used, but I sometimes use it for an easy hit confirm into Super when my opponent is nearly dead, like how I mentioned earlier. If you hold back and mash heavy, you'll get this retreating, low hitting gun move called Weasel Shot. This move is great for keeping the enemy at bay with multiple small projectiles, although you won't use it that often. If you mash heavy while in the air, you'll get Rainstorm, which is Dante saying screw you to gravity and the laws of physics. This move is an OTG, and as it's performed in the air, you can use it to combo into an assist. You can cancel it into a certain special move, which we'll get to later. The last of Dante's command normals is performed by inputting down heavy and mashing heavy. This move is called Cold Shower, and it's a fantastic way for Dante to hit opponents who are flat on the ground. Remember Prop Shredder, the sword spin move? You can cancel Cold Shower into Prop Shredder by inputting the launcher button as Dante shoots downwards to continue the combo. Let me demonstrate. Cool, right? Now, let's move on to the special moves. Performed with quarter circle forward motion and light, Dante will shoot out a ball of energy after it stays suspended in the air for a bit. This move homes in on the opponent, but since there's only one projectile, it'll miss a lot. However, if you hold the button down, you can charge it up to five times. The more you charge, the more projectiles shoot out. If you perform quarter cycle forward and press light in rapid succession, you'll get acid rain. You'll be using this move when far away from your opponent to stop them jumping in and hitting you, but the main purpose of this move is to go for mix-ups on incoming. If you snap your opponent out or if they go down normally, input acid rain to make them block on incoming. You can dash under them to try and make them block the wrong way, but the most common way of doing this is with the teleport. I'll cover the teleport in greater detail in a little bit, so stay tuned. Performed with quarter circle forward and medium, Crystal is one of Dante's OTG options that can be used to stop opponents who are in front of him. However, this move has slow startup, so you can get punished, but if it hits, go into a super for easy damage. Performed with quarter circle forward and medium twice, Million Carrots is another OTG option that you'll never use in neutral. There is no reason to use this move if the enemy is far away from you as it will miss and leave you free for punishment. If the opponent is on the ground, try using Million Carrots into a super for an easy conversion. Performed with quarter circle forward and heavy, Dante pulls out the Kalina Ant to fire some homing rockets at the opponent. This move is great at long ranges as the opponent won't be able to punish you for it. Use this move often against characters like Dr. Doom as he has a hard time maneuvering around the rockets. However, this move has bad startup and recovery, so if performed up close, you can get punished. Performed with quarter circle forward and heavy twice, Grapple uses the Kalina Ann's extending bayonet to shoot forward and pull the enemy into you if they get hit. This move has slow startup and recovery, so don't use it when up close. The opponent could also block this move and get a bit closer to you afterwards, so don't spam this move or else you're going to get punished. Performed with quarter circle back and light, Dante slides forward with his guitar to hit the enemy five times. This move can be punished on block, but there's a way to try and get around this whilst also going into super for safety, which we'll get to in a bit. 
performed with quarter circle back and medium, Dante traverses through the air with this awesome looking move called Revolver. Unfortunately, this move is somewhat useless as it'll miss small opponents and fail to combo properly due to its high reach. This move rarely gets used, so don't worry about using this one. Performed with quarter circle back and heavy, Dante shoots himself forward after the slow startup finishes. This move can be used to push the enemy into the corner and it lets you do a super at the end of combos, but I wouldn't say this move is worth it, because if it drops or gets blocked, you're screwed due to the insane amount of recovery. If you want to go for this move for style points, by all means, go for it, but make sure you're aware of the risk. Remember when I said there was a way to try and get around reverb shock being punishable on block? This is what I was talking about. If you input heavy after either reverb shock, revolver, or jet stream, you get fireworks, which is one of Dante's gunslinger moves from Devil May Cry 3. This move hits four times in a certain rhythm, and it also lets you go into a super. When I do fireworks, I count to three in my head and then go to super. If the opponent is going to block the super, cancel into devil trigger to make it safe. If you were to input the launcher button instead of heavy after the aforementioned moves, you get crazy dance. This move, aside from looking awesome, is completely useless. There is literally no practical use for anyone to ever use crazy dance in a real match. You only have two frames to hit the button, which is an insanely strict amount of time for you to input the move, and even then, it does no damage. Only use this for style points if you have a substantial lead over the opponent. Performant with a DP motion and light, Dante surrounds himself with a pillar of fire that acts as an OTG. This move is called Twister, and you won't be using it that much in neutral due to the short range and slow recovery, but you can go into a super if it manages to hit. I like to use this move in the corner to stop the opponent from pressuring me, but even this has some risk. If you input light while doing Twister, you get Tempest. It's pretty much the exact same move as Twister, but it does a bit more damage. Not a bad option to go for if Twister hits the opponent. If you input a DP motion and medium, you get Volcano. This move is useless on its own in neutral due to the horrible recovery and low range, but that's where Bold Cancel comes in. This is a bit hard to explain, so bear with me. First off, let's look at Dante's bold move. Performed by inputting special and an attack button, Dante jumps forward. Simple, right? That's the first step done. Now, do stinger, and then as it hits, input the bold move. See how Dante jumps after the stinger hits? Awesome, we're nearly there. Now, input volcano. See how it's done with the DP motion? Let's make this easy and condense the inputs. A DP motion is right, down, down, forward. So instead of doing Stinger, Bold Cancel, and then doing a DP motion to do Volcano, let's make Stinger the forward motion, down and bold move for the down, and then down forward and medium to bold cancel. See how it adds up to a DP motion, yet every input is its own thing? Now you know how to bold cancel. You can use a bold cancel after Stinger to go into pretty much any special move you want to if you have the execution to pull it off. Performed with a DP motion and medium twice, Dante gets Beehive, this multi-hitting kick move. However, you have to delay the second medium button a little bit or else Dante will miss the grounded opponent. My advice is to do Volcano and when you see that the first move connects, immediately hit medium to go into Beehive. This isn't hard, so you'll get it after a little bit of practice. This is Dante's primary way to go into a super. Performed with a DP motion and heavy, Jam Session lets Dante control the vertical space of the screen. If an opponent is flying at the top of the screen and you're underneath them when they can't see you, do Jam Session to get some easy damage. Don't use this move from a distance or else you can get punished. Remember when I said you could cancel Rainstorm with a certain special move? This is what I was referring to. Performance by importing quarter circle forward and light in the air, Killer B is a dive kick that provides you with a ground bounce on hit so you can continue the combo. Performed by importing quarter circle forward and light twice in the air, the hammer makes Dante punch his opponent down to the ground into a hard knockdown state, meaning you can get a combo after it. 
This move is fantastic to use to score a free knockdown on the opponent in a combo if they like to spam projectiles a lot. Wait for them to shoot out a projectile, teleport behind them, and then use the hammer. If you input quarter cycle forward and medium in the air, you get air play, this guitar move that lets Dante shoot a downwards angle air projectile. If you hold down the button, you can charge it up for a projectile that's larger and hits the opponent 5 times. You can also use this move to stay away from the enemy in the air. But, keep in mind that when you use the special move in the air, you can't use any more special moves until you land. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and heavy in the air, Dante comes down with Sky Dance, this multi-hitting move that can be cancelled into super when you land. Only use this move in combos or to catch an opponent out of the air who is hitting buttons if they're about to die. This move has horrible recovery, so make sure not to whiff it. Performed with a down down motion and the launcher button, Dante will teleport behind the enemy and then can follow up with an air attack. However, Dante is left vulnerable after the teleport, so an enemy who is aware can jump and air grab you for big damage. Also, anyone can see the little teabag Dante does before he teleports, so import the teleport while you're doing a normal to disguise the teabag. We're finally here, the last special move. If you input quarter circle forward and the launcher button when on the ground, Dante will shoot out a projectile that travels along the ground. Use this move to keep the enemy at bay, and if it hits after a combo, you can go into a super. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and two attack buttons, Dante performs Million Dollars, his primary super that shoots the opponent a bunch of times for good damage. It can be button mashed for more damage, and this super can be performed after lots of specials and pretty much any normal, so there's always going to be an opportunity for you to use this super. Performance with a quarter circle back motion and two attack buttons, Dante will use his Devil Trigger install super that makes him do more damage, gives him a second air dash, and three more special moves, which I'll quickly cover now. If you perform quarter circle forward and the launcher button in the air, Dante will perform Thunderbolt, this downwards lightning projectile move. This move is fantastic for hitting grounded opponents and it can combo into itself. Quarter circle back and the launcher button lets Dante fly for a bit, which is easy to understand. And finally, an air DP motion with the launcher button is Vortex, a move that shoots Dante forward and makes him completely invincible to projectiles. Devil Trigger also lasts for 10 seconds, so make sure you make those seconds count. Performed with a DP motion and two attack buttons, Dante's level 3 super is Devil Must Die, a multi-hitting attack that does great damage. You can cancel most if not all of his specials and normals into this move for a big damage combo ender, and if you have the execution, you can dash after the camera returns to normal, input cold shower, and then team super for a combo extender. The most basic combo for Dante is the Magic series followed by Beehive into Million Dollars, but I'll show you some better combos. First, I'll show you two combos that don't require a bolt cancel, and then you're going to see two combos that do require it. Some of Dante's most popular partners are Zero, Virgil, Doctor Doom, Magneto, Spencer, Akuma, Wesker, Strider, Deadpool, Hawkeye, Frank West, Wolverine, Morrigan, and Trish. These characters can either help Dante rush his opponent down, or play the long range game with their projectile slash physical hitting assists. If you have at least one of these characters on your team alongside Dante, you're good. That's all I've got when it comes to Dante in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 
Overall, Dante is a highly technical character with lots of special moves that can be used to great effect for big damage. His supers are excellent, and in my opinion, I'd say he's a top 10 character in a hypothetical tier list I'll make one day. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.